Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. So today in this video, I'm gonna give you a sketchbook tour of one of my sketchbooks from 2019. This is a really special sketchbook that records my memory of my um, first semester in my graduate school. Okay, so this is a Strasmore mixed media sketchbook, soft cover. Um, I didn't enjoy too much um, about the soft cover because it, it couldn't lay very sturdy when I was sketching, especially outdoors. So I very rarely use soft cover sketchbooks. Okay, so this is the uh, title page. So for each new sketchbook, I like to do a title page with the uh, period and the year. So this one, I started it on September the 2nd. The first day that I arrived in Montreal, around 7.40, I sketched the sunset outside my, my, my balcony in my new apartment. It was a rainy morning, but the sky cleared quickly later in the afternoon. And then the next day, kind of like touring around downtown Montreal, and this one was in with the Ferris wheel in at the Old Fort in downtown Montreal. A lot of food and drink sketches as usual. So my life was pretty busy. Every day was uh, studies, readings, lectures. But I tried to squeeze a bit of time every day to sketch something, even if it was just one thing. This one was the uh, the view outside my apartment window in downtown Montreal. It was pretty peaceful with the sky color, my dinner. And then on Sunday, September the 7th, there were like a group of uh, performers downstairs in the uh, in the park. So I went there and did one sketch. September the 8th, I think this one was done before one of my lectures. Um, Phillips Square, somewhere in downtown Montreal. Food and drinks on September the 9th. And more food and drinks. Thursday, September the 12th, really nice clouds in the afternoon sky outside my apartment window. And on Friday, September the 13th, I took the bus to, um, to Concordia University's Loyola campus. I really like the building, it's kind of like a castle. And I spent about um, one hour and a half sketching this. Next page, more food and drinks from my grocery shopping. And on Sunday, September the 15th, I walked around downtown Montreal and I sketched this, um, I think this is the art gallery of Montreal. Don't remember too much. I really enjoy sketching buildings, like urban sketching, but um, I just need to find more time to do it. Okay, more food and drinks in my days from September the 16th. And more food and sketches from September the 16th to the 19th. Okay, finding some time to do a little bit of urban sketching. Um, these were done, I think, around September the 20, 21st. And this one was done at the uh, park downstairs of my apartment in downtown Montreal. I really enjoyed looking at all of the all of the different colored leaves in early fall. And this one was done after my uh, teaching assistant job somewhere in um, somewhere around Saint Henry. In Montreal and I really like the uh, this street view here okay, 
one more urban sketching here. This one was another one done in the uh, in the park downstairs of my apartment. Another statue. And a sketch done on the first day of autumn. Really quick, simple sketch of my balcony window. And a box of apples I bought on grocery shopping. Some more, the evening sky outside my window. More apples, coffee, tomatoes, pancakes from grocery shopping. And this one was a really loose sketch that I did on September 27th. It was really chilly. So I spent about 30 minutes on the, um, on the rooftop of my apartment on the 15th floor and I sketched the view that I see very strong sunset color it's really loose because I think um, it was really cold and windy there and more food this one was done around first day of October 2019 I was walking around McGill University and I sketched the, uh, the main building on campus and then there's another building on the side seeing a squirrel there are lots of squirrels in Montreal and then back home I sketched the uh, sunset sky and a little panorama more food and drink sketches from October the 2nd to October the 3rd Some more sunset sketches and this one was a really quick sketch. I woke up early in the morning just to try to sketch something outside. And a really simple sketch at the uh, farmer's market, at water market. Very loose sketches. I was using a blue water soluble marker because I really want to create that kind of um, um, soft cool dreamlike effect with the uh, water soluble pen so i was studying on the weekend with a cup of coffee this is one of my uh one of the corners in my bachelor's apartment on tuesday october the 8th i was sketching in the uh, in one of the atriums in the fine arts department, There's people studying and sleeping, and the view outside with the church here, with a sunny day. More food and drink sketches. Okay, finally, some more urban sketching. I was really trying to squeeze time. My, even my weekend was really busy with uh, readings and writings to do. Um, but I was really ambitious to do some urban sketching. This one was done from 2.20 to 3.30 p.m. on Saturday, October the 12th. Um, I was walking around downtown Montreal and I found a really uh, cool building, like a, little, like a little castle. And this part of the uh, building is a Chinese restaurant. more sketches and this one is the view that I see outside my classroom window upstairs autumn leaves more food sketches and a sunset sketch the weekend of October the 19th and 20s very loose sketch um, done on the rooftop again I think it was really cold, so I had to work really fast. So I sketched with a pencil. I don't know what happened with my pen. I sketched with a pencil and then just really quick loose watercolors on top. On Saturday, October the 26th, I was um, doing my teaching assistant job at a community center. And um, after that, I sketched the, uh, the scenery outside. I think there's a library here. 
in this old brick building. A squirrel. All the leaves are al almost gone from the trees. Some more golden autumn sketches around. This one is at Water Market. Around at Water Market. There's a candle over here in the walkway. And my quick lunch and some veggies and apples. Tuesday, October the 29th was, um, I think I did this late at night after a, uh, a gathering with friends making jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. The next day I sketched at the uh, Concordia Farmer, Farmer's Market. It's a monthly farmer's market. Again, it's a really loose sketch. These two are very loose sketches with uh, pencils first, but no erasing. Pencils and watercolors on top. Okay, then it was November, Friday, November the 1st. I did a full page sketch of some little, um, little mandarin oranges with a purple background. And then my dinner, some ketchups, and then there was daylight saving time and okay, Monday, November the fourth, having some tea with uh, little muffins, eating an apple, and sketching my my process eating it. Dinner on November the fifth, and the uh, evening sky outside. Some animal crackers I bought. Really nice childhood memories. And more dinner and tea sketches. And then my winter boot. It's always really cold in Montreal with um, heavy snowfall and really cold temperatures. So I got a pair of winter boots. My textbooks and the two brands of milk that we can buy in Montreal. Having a uh, brunch with my colleagues at a breakfast place at, called Mon Coco around downtown Montreal and I sketched the leftovers. Uh, I was too busy because we're talking during during our meeting so there was no time to sketch. So I just sketched the leftovers and created kind of a flat right here. On Monday, November the 11th, before I go to my class, I did a kind of a self-portrait by looking at myself at the um, at my balcony window and then the view outside. It was nighttime, it was around, around 6 p.m. Okay, and more little sketches around my my little bachelor's apartment. And then we had snow in um, around the middle of November. And I sketched the snow outside my balcony. It was really, it was really thick. My breakfast, animal crackers with milk. This one was a really simple seen at the community center where I was doing yoga and Zumba, Zumba dancing. Sketching my breakfast. And then this one I think was done on November the 16th on Saturday. So after my teaching assistant job was done, I was um, spending 20 minutes or so sketching in the cold Cold Park outside the community center. Wow, I still remember that day it was freezing cold. As you can see, the sky here, the paint was frozen with ice crystals. I had to work fast because it was too cold and my hand was getting numb. Such a great memory. And that's it.
Again, this sketchbook is a Strasmore mixed media soft cover sketchbook. The paper, the quality is, uh, is pretty good for, for watercolors and ink. The paper is pretty soft and creamy for ink pens and um, can pretty much do the basic watercolor techniques on, on this paper. It just the only thing that I don't like is the, the soft cover. Okay, the cover is really, really soft. So it's kind of inconvenient to put it on my lap when I'm outside. It's bending and it's really hard to create a sketch.